They're easily one of the stupidest people, I, I mean, that I've even spoken to, really. Number one, I mean, you came on my page to actually leave, leave the comment. The video is called Transgender Rapist, and my point is simply this. You're a transgender person. Let's say me as a guy. I meet a female. We sleep together, right? She had a sex change. So now she confines in me that she was a man. Do I not have the right to feel violated? Do I not have the right to feel like on some level I was raped? I was not having sex with the person that I thought I was having sex with. It's the same as when a woman goes into her room to have sex with a guy, he turns off the lights and another guy walks in and have sex with her, right? Would that not, would that guy not be brought up on rape charges? You can compare the two. It's not apples and oranges. I'm basically talking about the same shit. Now, she couldn't see the logic in that, right? And I was wrong and I was, you know, all sorts of shit. I mean, I was even an idiot to this person. And she seems to have some sort of disdain towards New York City as a whole. But FYI, just for your information, I actually have a degree, right? And criminal justice. And come September, I'm going back for my master's. So I'm far from the fool you try to make me out to be. Now, moving on with that. She's talking this whole link fiasco. Number one, I can find links that would go in my favor on any argument you bring up. It's called the internet. These are studies. Studies have no real basis for anything. It's one of the first things you learn in criminal justice when it comes to polls and shit of that nature. There is no way we can interview and talk to every single man or woman on earth to ever get these opinions straight. And furthermore, with the football thing, I've seen countless sports documentaries. I'm a sports junkie. Anyone who's into sports and knows what they're talking about knows most of these guys die from the drugs that they use, head-on collisions. I mean, a linebacker's job isn't easy by a long shot. So I'm not going to debate sports with you because you obviously know nothing about it. I'm pretty sure any sports junkie that'd come by, you know, that'd come by and hear this part of the argument wouldn't know what the fuck you were even talking about. Drugs run rampant in sports. Performance enhancing drugs, painkillers that these guys are hooked on. They may look healthy on the outside as far as being big and strong, but on the inside, they're fucked up. So in conclusion, your argument to me made, like, absolutely no sense. I mean, you can post as many links as you want. I could sit here and post links, but to, towards what end? What are you really trying to prove? That I'm supposed to look at you like a female just because that's what you think you are in your mind? You're trying to say what you born has no, you know, has no basis on what you think in your mind. Guess what? If I thought I was a girl but born, but born with a penis, I'm a guy. I don't have the right to force anybody else to look at me the way that I want to be looked at because of what I think in my mind. And I'm not knocking you for thinking that way. I mean, live your life. Be happy. To my knowledge, we only live once. So I'm not knocking you for that. I'm just saying it's selfish and egotistical for you to think other people have to view transgenders as what they are because that's how they feel they are in their mind. I'm sorry. The package you're born with is the package that you're born with. I mean, it's just that simple. I mean, had they not wanted to make money off of sex changes, what would transgenders be? Drag queens. That's it. And, you know, I'm not harping on them. I have no issues with them. I work with a lot of homosexuals and lesbians. No transgenders that I know of, but we get into discussions about this all the time. And they're not nearly as narrow-minded as you are. 